Alright guys and welcome back for a new review. Today we're going to take a look at the new World Box Wolverine style body. This one just came out in Hong Kong. I picked it up off eBay off of 1.6 kit. So uh, this one just released. We should probably see it within a month or two at US retailers. So uh, World Box has been making 1.6 uh, scale bodies for a couple of years now and they even do make full action figures like the Mortal Kombat line and some Resident Evil figures and so on. Uh, the head that's portrayed on this body does not come with it. Uh, I just put it on there to kind of showcase what its main function is. It does seem to be aimed uh, primarily at making a Wolverine bash. So I did put the Days of Future Past Hot Toys Wolverine head on to show you what that would look like. As you can see, the skin tone is a perfect match, which is excellent. That's certainly what you want, and that is what it's aimed at, so it should match well. Uh, I do say primarily a Wolverine body, as you notice, does have the body hair sculpted and painted in, which is uh, definitely a trademark feature for Wolverine. One thing I, I did notice that they did not really uh, carry that over to the arms unfortunately so with that it's just skin tone but it's not a big deal but it would have been a nice touch this does seem to be the same arms as Worldbox has been using so that's not new it just seems that the only thing they really changed was the upper torso the legs and feet uh, are pretty much standard to the other Worldbox figures so there's nothing new there but the upper torso does give it a whole new aspect it's a lot more bigger and bulkier so it does match the physique of you Jackman a lot closer let's give you a 360 of that very good sculpting and paintwork on this this does look uh, aesthetically very good for um, a Wolverine bash if you're gonna do them in a tank top or you know something shirtless you know this is a good body to make a bash for that uh, the other things included with the figure are extra hands so he did have trigger hands on him and you notice he does get three other sets he gets gripping hands relaxed and also does get fisted hands uh, another neat feature uh, initially the figure comes with this neck peg included that is on the body and you can switch it for the longer one for some reason it came with two the diameter on them is the same so there's two of these this one comes on it and I did switch this one out because with the head on this peg, it does give him a short neck. And you notice the neck length on this does seem to be a little bit more natural. But the peg itself, you'll notice the ball here is a little smaller, so it's not a perfect fit. It does hold the head on, but it can easily come off. So might might uh, benefit from an even another peg. But in any event, at least they gave us a couple so that you can kind of mess with it to get it to fit. This one it fits, and it's a friction, but it's not a tight friction, so you can kind of mess with the neck length for your bash, whatever you feel is appropriate. So aside from that, we'll uh, take a look at the articulation obviously with the head being on a bull joint left right up down is not a problem uh, the shoulders go out about that far does have a hinge and swivel at the elbow as well as a hinge and swivel at the wrist there's an upper bicep I'm sorry an upper torso twist and crunch same thing for the lower Legs, of course, can go forward only about that far, out to about that far, double-jointed knee, a little stiff. 
and he does have a unique ankle system in that you could flip the peg around to hinge it in any direction and of course it swivels so with that you can get multiple poses so that's it for articulate for uh, height comparison so here we have the new world box body next to a standard true type TTM 18 and a TTM 20 from Hot Toys uh, obviously this one is designed more for Arnold Schwarzenegger this one is just your generic standard male body so he's a little taller than the standard a little shorter than Arnold right in between um, not only in height but in muscularity so it's kind of a graduated thing you'll notice it is a little bit of a darker tone as well and the reason he's wearing shorts is world box bodies are anatomically correct just so you know all right so final thoughts on the world box body excellent choice for a wolverine bash that's obvious certainly could be used for some other bashes uh, that are fitting um, the body itself is extremely durable uh, joints are pretty tight and hand pegs are compatible with hot toys the hands at least not necessarily the pegs but you can put hot toys hands onto it uh, another thing of note it doesn't have double jointed elbows so articulation while good is not the best we've seen in one six scale um, another thing that I would say that it could have used is of, of course the arm and hand hair uh, perhaps a, even though they offer a couple of different neck pegs it probably would have been nice to offer this one with the bigger peg which does tend to fit more Hot Toys figures than this taller one with a smaller it, it's hard to tell maybe from the camera but this is a larger rounder peg than this one but this one is the longer in height and so you can you know your mileage may vary depending on your bash with that um, that aside though very good figure I would recommend it if you're planning a bash that can use a body like this such as Wolverine so that's it guys that's the world box body um, just came out uh, you could look for it at uh, local retailers like BBTS Cots World and Monkey Depot and of course eBay as well so that's it hope you enjoyed and until next time guys thanks for watching